Hi Pisces, Ira Taranik here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the month's upcoming challenges, take advantage of its opportunities, and look forward to its blessings. Now, should you like to learn more about Eri Taronic, the author, you can always hit the down bar. All of my links are below, as well as the links to the Healing Chakra Beads and Mental Chatter Musings monthly newsletter, where you can find these written horoscopes uh, in detail for your month. Uh, news about E-Ray, writing tips and resources, as well as our special sneak peek of our star player of the month, who this month happens to be Brianna Cole, entertainment mogul extraordinaire. I would love for you to take a dive into the newsletter and check out what we have in store for you. Now, let's get into why we're actually here to go over your month of January, Pisces. Now, let's start at Uranus. Um, the planet Uranus is a uh, the planet of revolution, shocks, and surprises. It's in Taurus. The Earth sign of Taurus reigns over our money, our values, and resources. These areas of our lives are experiencing a drastic evolution. Okay, now I do want to note that now that Saturn and Jupiter have moved over into Aquarius, they are lending a squaring aspect to that Uranus transit, causing challenges that could catch us off guard in our area of friends and high hopes. Now we will have to put in extra effort in these areas, but it will bring blessings that are worth it with Jupiter there. You know, the next year will be about friends and high hopes, just like 2020 was about the collective. Big changes. You can expect really big changes as far as your friends and goals are concerned by the end of 2021. Um, also, your areas of secrets, sacrifice and solitude will undergo drastic changes. OK, so maybe you're coming out of your shell. Um, don't let your friends get you into trouble this year though okay and even the next two years after that um, they could cause you uh, to have to make some sacrifices so I want you to be mindful when you're dealing with friends okay for the next three years um, Uranus is retrograde until January the 14th right now so it'll go direct at uh, six degrees Taurus so you'll um, have those shocks and surprises coming from the past right now until January the 14th and then uh, we can have current <laughs> shocks and surprises um, now Mercury is the planet of communication skills and intellect it entered Capricorn your sector of friends and high hopes at zero degrees on December the 20th now you sextile this area bringing you opportunity this position allows you to be sharp in perception and you can see both sides of the coin now, which will allow you to make the right decisions. Um, if you choose to do both, then so be it. You can handle that. Other communication as to obstacles will surface in your area of shared finances, death, even rebirth of self. Communication in this sector can be faded. Other challenging communication can surface in personal finances. Uh, money is a focus during Capricorn season. Now you'll have to put in extra effort where skills and communication are concerned as it pertains to finances. Good communication and uh, as to your skills um, come in. So you are praised in the area as far as communication, siblings, community, short distance travel, and your relationships. So you have good communication coming in from your relationships. You have good communication coming in from uh, relationships within your networks of people. Okay. Um, you could also be congratulated for a job well done. Okay. Now opportunities as far as Capricorn season goes that pertain to your, uh, as it pertains to long distance travel, education, the way you think and the things you preach and things like that, they could come in, uh, you could be learning something new or brushing up skills. Um, you know, listen and learn at this time, pay attention to your surroundings. 
when the sun moves into Capricorn, which it has already done, all of this will be a focus, okay? So, um, you know, listen out for opportunities. The sun enters Capricorn, um, the sun entered Capricorn on the 21st. So right now your skills to juggle more than one task while handling them with diplomacy can be illuminated now. People will notice that. Now, while the sun is in Capricorn, you can expect changes to our areas of self and relationships to be highlighted. At the same time, endings can bring us opportunities in shared finances. The death of something can bring a rebirth in another area. Now, a creative endeavor, dreams, illusions, even delusions or fantasy can present an opportunity. Shocking blessings and good fortune as to friends and high hopes relationships as well as communication siblings uh, your networks of people and short distance travel um, is also seen here because of an aspect to Uranus so um, everything you uh, I went over in the Mercury transit is a focus right along with this okay uh, and make sure you're looking at within your networks of people and within your community for uh, surprising good fortune uh, and opportunities, okay? Now let's move over to uh, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion. Jupiter, uh, it's going to be at three degrees Aquarius, our collective area of friends and high hopes. Uh, and it's going to be semi-square Neptune at 18 degrees Pisces. This is all going on on the 4th of January, which was yesterday. Um, or is that today? It's today. Friends and family could provide aid with a job endeavor, uh, a creative endeavor. One could gain a high social position or notoriety due to personal achievements using creative skills or the gift of gab. Now, your valuable connections could usher success your way. Sometimes it's who you know. Be mindful of immersing yourself in illegal activities, though. You may stumble upon something that becomes a resource. Add it to your repertoire. Now, um, you know what? Let me go over that a little slower. Be mindful of immersing yourself in illegal activities, especially as it pertains to your friends, Pisces. Don't let them get you into trouble. If you stumble onto a valuable resource this season, uh, just add it to your repertoire. Secret sacrifice and solitude as well as image, first impressions, and identity are aspected, okay, on this day. So don't get uh, yourself in, into any underhanded uh, activities or anything like that because, uh, you know, you can put off the wrong impression. And hopefully you're not... Uh, yeah, hopefully you don't get yourself into anything and ruin how you are seen. So watch it today. Now, Mars, the planet of energy challenges, it enters Taurus, our area of personal income and money at zero degrees. Try not to be argumentative or make snide remarks involving yourself in conflicts on January the 6th. Be mindful of that. Enemies are waiting to pounce. Uranus is here, so shocking acts of aggression can ensue. Be calm and compromising. Communication, siblings, your networks of people, as well as short distance travel is where this will all be playing out, okay? So uh, be calm and compromising when dealing with people on the internet and within your networks of people, even your siblings. Favor for effort put in uh, toward... Uh, or a favor for effort put forward uh, surfaces in areas of friends and high hopes and relationships. So if you've been putting effort uh, towards bettering your relationships, they will be better. If you're putting effort towards your high hopes, they will gain favor. Okay. Um, also, friends may contact you uh, talking money. Just make sure it's on the up and up. Okay. Work health and daily habits as well as secret sacrifice and solitude is aspected okay friends could be communicating their money woes to you or calling you to dispute money owed either uh either of you could be the debt the debtor you know i don't know if you owe or they owe one or, one or the other you have opportunities as it pertains to personal finances and resources communities siblings your networks of people as well as short distance travel 
Okay, the opportunity comes in from romance, creativity, and children. So you have chances to work on creative endeavors that can provide income. Uh, maybe a romantic partner helps you out with cash. Okay, it could be uh, doing uh, the helping as well. Okay, a romantic partner could be helping you out. Children could require assistance with resources as well. Okay, now let's move along to Aquarius, uh, to uh, uh, Mercury, I'm sorry, in Aquarius. It'll move over into Aquarius on the 8th. So although it won't be Aquarius season, the energies will be very heavily Aquarius because Mercury will be in Aquarius and Jupiter and Saturn are already in Aquarius, okay? So on the 8th, when Mercury, the planet of skills and communication and intellect shifts into Aquarius, wealth can be lost as quickly as it is gained, but it can be achieved suddenly nonetheless. Those that think quickly on their feet are able to work independently. They can see success on this day. Friends could play a factor as well. Um, the uh, This aspect's your area of secret sacrifice and solitude. You can expect the friction as to these areas to come from communication, siblings, and your networks of people, as well as short distance travel. Okay. Now, communication coming in could catch you off guard. Another area that could cause friction as to friends, secrets, and sacrifice, even solitude, is your area of long-distance travel, education, study, and skills, even the way you think and the things you preach, okay? So your skills could require some updating, okay? You could get blocked on social media this season, or you might have to block somebody on social media. Communication over the web and over your... Uh, um, uh, your, your social media, you know, uh, avenues, it could get intense. Okay. So focus on the favor that awaits you and try not to get into it with anybody on, uh, over social media, you know, um, or people from afar over secret dealings you've had and things like that. Hopefully it's not pertaining to that money and Capricorn season that was, uh, going back and forth between you and friends. Anyway, uh, let's move forward. Um, as far as the opportunities, um, as to secret sacrifice and solitude, they come in your areas of career and personal finances. So you could have things communicated your way that will help you build your personal finances. You just need to make sure the opportunities um, are on the up and up. This opportunity might not be in your best interest because it's aspecting the South Node. So it could involve shady activity. Opportunities... Uh, um, all of these areas will be a focus, even uh, once Aquarius season starts on the 19th. Now, favor comes in from shared finances, endings, and new beginnings, as well as work, health, and daily habits. You have the chance to increase your finances through work. Okay, there is an ending happening, and it's ushering in shared finances. Your health sees favor as well. It's time to get to work and to come out of the shady activity that's going on or whatever is going on that's not on the up and up, okay? Now, Venus, um, if, if there's anything going on, on, you know, that's not on the up and up, I'm just saying. Now, Venus, the planet of uh, pleasure, romance, and finances, enters Capricorn, our area of of career on January the 8th at zero degrees, okay? Use your intuition when making decisions, Pisces. Know not only your motivation for certain actions, but others as well. You may be juggling projects and love and work to create abundance. The goodness that comes in from your sectors of communication, siblings and your networks of people, even short distance travel, as well as relationships, um, they will be good, okay? So that's where the goodness is going to be, um, starting on the 8th. Okay, so that's good. So you have, remember we talked about um, during Mercury season, you having problems in communication over the web and things like that. But because Venus is in Capricorn, that's going to usher you some goodness that way. It's going to usher you some goodness as far as people communicating with you in your networks and things like that. So things uh, should pan out there. Things should be okay there with Venus. 
okay? You can cultivate favorable relationships with people in your networks right now uh, during Aquarius season, even though that even though you have those challenging aspects with Aquarius, Capricorn is helping you out because Venus is in Capricorn, okay? So um, you'll cultivate favorable friendships in your networks right now. You're, you're ending bad relationships and starting better ones, okay? Romance can also be found if you're single, so enjoy it. Now, as far as Venus goes, um, friction as to romance, pleasure, and finances can come into your areas of shared finances and endings, even new beginnings, as well as personal finances. So there could be a vice or a pleasure pursuit that's costing you too much money. Uh, it could also be a lover. It could be gambling. It could be, you know, any of those things. Now, opportunities for romance, pleasure, and finances graces your sector of long-distance travel, education, and study, as well as the way you think and the things that you preach, okay? You have opportunities to learn and update your skills, which will influence uh, the way you think um, and go about speaking. You have an opportunity to evolve now, so take it. Moving along to uh, January the 9th, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is at four degrees Aries on January the 9th, our collective area of friends and high hopes. It's Sesca Quadrate, the true note, at 19 degrees Gemini, our area of communication, siblings, community, even short distance travel. So communicating with friends online grants you connections. But mind your loins. Avoid tempting but dangerous pleasure pursuits. You could face utter devastation because of it. Now, creative arts are favored during this transit and powerful friends can provide aid to those with a keen vision as to their goals. But avoid loud, boisterous opponents. Someone could be slandering your name in order to damage your reputation. This is playing out in your areas of secret sacrifice and solitude, as well as home and family. Okay, so it could be someone within home and family gossiping about you. It could be someone gossiping about you to someone in your home or within your family. Okay, um, about some dealings you have going on. Now, someone is gossiping... Uh, you know, just try to ignore it. If it's someone you can talk to and ask them to stop, then, you know, you can do so. But if they're loud and boisterous, you might not want to entertain them at all. Now, January the 11th, on, on that day, on the 9th. Now, on January the 11th, um, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, it's at 5 degrees Aquarius, and it's going to be sextile Charon at 5 degrees Aries. So one could become a leader in their field if they are cunning. Obstacles are overcome with the assistance of powerful friends or family. A goal can be accomplished. Spiritual guides uh, or those in advertising or in school can see success with their crafts. You may even hear something from a spiritual guide that just clicks for you and um, you know shows you the way to go. An opportunity to heal personal finances in secret sacrifice and solitude. Uh, surfaces. Just make sure it's on the up and up. A secret uh, resource can be offered to you. Now on uh, January the 13th, that's the new moon. And remember, you, we, we talked about this, the new moon, the energies last for two weeks. So even though it's on the 13th, it's going to last for two weeks out. The new moon is going to be in Capricorn at 23 degrees, so be honest and straightforward and driven to your goals. This will garner you true friends. The new moons are about opportunity. Career opportunities could be communicated through friends. It could be uh, just the surprise you were hoping uh, to hear, being that it aspects Uranus. Other opportunities come in from your sectors of self as well as long distance travel, education, skills and study, even the way you think and the things that you preach. So accept the opportunities to further grow you, okay? During this moon, in the right way, during this moon cycle, favorable chances surface in your sectors of relationships as well as communication, siblings and short distance travel and your networks of friends. People in your area want to offer you opportunity, but the opportunity this moon cycle 
But unfortunately, uh, this moon cycle, these opportunities are not giving you any money. Okay? Remember that. You won't gain any money during this moon cycle from those opportunities. In fact, opportunities in education could actually cost you. Okay? But it's worth it though. Endings and new beginnings with friends or in career could see some bumps in the road. Honor your highest aspirations for the best results. End what does not serve you, okay, for the best version of you to usher in favorable new beginnings, okay? Again, end, what's not ser end <laughs> what does not serve the best version of you to usher in favorable new beginnings. Now, let's move along to um, January the 14th. That's when Uranus is going to go direct. Remember, we talked about that. It's going direct in Taurus. So shocking events can occur if one chooses to follow the head below as opposed to the head on your shoulders, if you know what I mean. Women, you are not excluded from this. Mind your morals because violence can ensue. Uh, obstacles can come out of nowhere as it pertains to communication as it pertains to siblings, as it pertains to community, even short distance travel and your networks of people, okay? Obstacles can also surface in uh, a secret sacrifice and solitude. So things undercover, gossip. A sibling or someone uh, you see as a brother or sister could say something that surprises you. You know, somebody you call bro or sis. Uh, work, health, and daily habits could cause frustration, okay? Um, never mind the gossip at work. Focus on your health. Never mind the gossip within friends. Focus on your health. Are your daily routines conducive to what you want to accomplish in health? You want to look at that, okay? Now, let's look at the favor, the favorable shocks and surprises that you'll see. Communication, siblings, and short distance travel, and your networks of people. Um, okay, let me start over. Let's look at the favorable uh, shocks uh, to communication. Siblings, uh, short distance travel, and your networks of people. Uh, for favor, you want to look to your relationships. Your relationships between you and others. Um, uh, friends also chime in with good news. Um, so it could be the news you're hoping for. So this actually might pan out for you because uh, you have other aspects that show favor as far as your relationships and your friends. So things could work out for you, um, you know, with this Uranus transit here. Now, shocking opportunities also will come in from your networks of people and things like that, people in your communities. Um, and it will be in your sectors of romance, creativity and children. Okay, so you might have people trying to get romantic with you from afar or over the, the, the web. They might not even be from afar. Actually, it's noted short, short distance travel. So it might be somebody within your neighborhood that likes you or your town. Um, but the person who likes you is going to surprise you. Um, a sibling could also communicate the information to you or someone you see as sis or bro. They might tell you, oh, you know, so-and-so likes you, you know. Now, uh, moving along to uh, Jupiter on the 17th. Now, on January 17th, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, is in Aquarius. It's going to be square Uranus in Taurus, both at six degrees. Shocking events can occur if one chooses to follow the head below as opposed to the head on your shoulders, if you know what I mean. Women, you're not excluded from this, so mind your morals because violence can ensue. I want you to practice self-control and don't be impressed by cat calls. This is playing out in your sectors of secret sacrifice and solitude, as well as communication, siblings, and short-distance travel, people within your networks. So someone within your networks or your town or on the World Wide Web might like you, and they're going to show that they like you, okay? Um... They're trying to get nearer to you. So don't get caught up if you're in a relationship. Now on January 19th, Vesta is retrograde at 21 degrees Virgo. Don't allow yourself to be swindled out of love or money by a slick-tongued charlatan character from your past or a friend that you've already, you know, known for a long time. Okay, this is on the 19th. 
Devote yourself to something that will make you better. A sacrifice could have to be made. Focus on work or creative uh, pursuits. This will usher in the goodness from this transit and bring success. Friction as to devotion can surface in our sectors of career as well as home and family. Are you having a problem being faithful or committed to your aspirations? Uh, you know, know what and who is important to you. Favor for your devotion uh, shows up in the area of friends and high hopes, as well as communication, siblings, your networks of people, as well as short distance travel. So if you're doing the right things in those areas and being devoted to the right things, people will notice your efforts and they will show you favor because of it. OK, you will see favor from the universe as well. There will be opportunities that could test your devotion, surfacing in romance, creativity and children. So things are going to test you to see if you are devoted to your goals, to see if you're devoted to your significant other or your girlfriend or boyfriend, to see if you're devoted to educating yourself, updating your skills. If you're devoted to what you preach, if you practice what you preach. OK, prove that you are committed to the right things your lover, your children, your creative pursuits, your education, bettering yourself, okay? Now, moving along to actual Aquarius season. It starts on January the 19th. That's when the sun moves into Aquarius. That's when you're thinking, that's when thinking on your feet and quick-wittedness can usher in success. Wealth can be lost as quickly as it is obtained. So, uh, but it can be achieved suddenly nonetheless. So, remain in your integrity. Those that, uh, like I said, think quickly on their feet and can work independently can see success on this day. Friends could play a factor. This aspects your area of secret sacrifice and solitude. So you can expect friction as to these areas to come in from communication, siblings, and your networks of people. Um, they could catch you off guard once you get to Aquarius season. Communication could catch you off guard. But remember, you've got Capricorn, Venus and Capricorn. So that's helping you out with that, with that communication, siblings and your networks of people. OK, um, so hopefully, you know, things will pan out now when Venus moves out of Capricorn. That's another deal for you. OK. Now, another area that could cause friction as to friends, secrets and sacrifice and solitude is your area of long distance travel, education, study and skills and the way you think and the things that you preach. OK, your skills could require some updating. OK, you could get blocked on social media. <laughs> Communication over the Web could get intense. Uh, so just try to focus on the favor that awaits you. OK, now. um, so, so the, the short, the short distance travel and stuff like that, the networks of people and the communication, um, I'll reiterate that you don't have to worry too much about that with, uh, Venus and Capricorn, but it will help you there, but you will have to work on your updating your skills, um, as far as, uh, working with people from afar as well and, um, make sure you practice what you preach. Now, favor comes in from shared finances, endings, and new beginnings, as well as work, health, and daily habits during Aquarius season. You have the chance to increase your finances through work, okay? Work. Um, there's an ending happening, and it's ushering in shared finances. Your health sees favor as well, but it's time to get to work, Pisces, okay? Now, opportunities as to secret sacrifice and solitude, they'll come in from your areas of career as well as personal finances and resources. So this opportunity may not be in your best interest as it is coming from the South Node. OK, it could involve shady activity. OK, the uh, all of these uh, areas that I've talked about are a focus all the way from the eighth of the month. OK, S starting on the eighth. So be mindful of that. Friends and high hopes is definitely a focus this season for the next three years, actually, for you. Pick the right ones. Get rid of the wrong ones. Now, January the 20th, uh, Saturn at three degrees Aquarius is semi-square Neptune and Pisces at 18 degrees. This angle favors the arts, especially those working on 
on crafts, excuse me, pertaining to love or children. Focus on loyalty and sincerity as opposed to things that rouse the sensual desires. Be optimistic about your creative pursuits and use your words to garner favor, the favor you're looking to achieve, you know. This is aspecting your areas of image and identity, as well as secret sacrifice and solitude. So secrets could be revealed and vices could be holding you back. What is your vice? Okay, you got to get that under control, okay? Um, January the 21st, Saturn at four degrees Aquarius is Sesca Quadrate, the true note at 19 degrees Gemini. Avoid tempting but dangerous pleasure pursuits. You could face utter devastation because of it. Creative arts are favorite during this transit and powerful friends can provide aid to those with a keen vision as to their goals. Avoid loud, boisterous opponents. Someone could be slandering your name in order to damage your reputation. This is aspecting your areas of home and family, as well as secret sacrifice and solitude. So people telling secrets about you, gossiping about you, okay? It could even be within your family. It could be relatives gossiping about you or a friend that you see as, fam as family. Somebody could be slandering your name and telling your family on you, okay? Now on January 26th, Neptune is at 19 degrees Pisces. It's square the true node at 19 degrees Gemini. Avoid loud, boisterous opponents. Someone could be slandering your name on this day as well to damage your reputation. Be practical and realistic. Hone your skills in the area you intend to cultivate a career. Focus. Maintain a clear focus and know what you want. This is playing out in your sectors of home and family as well as image. Again, remain focused. People are always going to have something to say that's negative. Okay? It's time for you to cut somebody off. Actually, I noted here, is it time for you to cut somebody off? But I'm telling you, it's time for you to cut somebody off. With all these crystals around me, they're telling me it's time for you to cut somebody off. Okay? Okay? Now, January the 27th, uh, Pluto, it, it uh, it's the planet of rebirth, renewal and resources, even taxes. It's at 25 degrees Capricorn. It's going to be biquintile, the true note in Gemini at 19 degrees. Now, uh, someone could be, again, slandering your name on this day. Uh, but if you're proud and you're true at heart, you're honest, you're generous, avoid that loud, boisterous character. Don't, don't be around them. Friends and high hopes is aspected here. Some friends prove to be enemies during this uh, cycle. They're trying to block your rebirth and career as well. They could be outing your daily routines or your daily habits or what you've been into. So be careful. Now, on the 28th, the full moon uh, in Leo at nine degrees. Um, this is your area of work, health, and daily habits, by the way. Um, I want you to be mindful when traveling. And remember, these full moon energies can last for two weeks, okay? Um, if people are asking you for too much around this moon, Pisces, let your concerns be known without being short-tempered. You can only do so much. You may have to assist a relative with health around this time. You could also see restrictions due to uh, work, uh, restrictions at work due to health. Uh, make sure that you're practicing good health and hygiene. COVID and other flu-like viruses are still circulating. Friction as to this moon can also be coming from your areas of communication, siblings and short distance travel, as well as your networks of people. Remember, you still have Capricorn there in uh, in uh, Venus there in Capricorn. So you should be OK in the area of communication, siblings and short distance travel. Um, actually, wait. Yes. Yes. Um, wait, let me think. Let me make sure that I've got this. Uh, No, that's not, that's not going to, okay. So friction as to this moon, I'm sorry. Friction as to this moon, for this moon, it will surface in your areas of communication, siblings, and short distance travel, and your networks of people. Okay, all right. And that's because Leo, um, it, it, it's aspecting Leo with a square. But you, uh, yourself, um, 
that's your area of opportunity, Pisces. They uh, Capricorn lends you opportunity. And Venus is there. And that is your sector of... Oh, it's, that is your... Oh, I don't have it in front of me. I'm just uh, thinking back in my head. So that would be your sector of... So friends and high hopes. And then you have... Um, you know what, let me make sure I have this this correct for you because I don't want to tell you, you know, the wrong thing. And I want to make sure I have it uh, noted for you. Yeah, the, it is your area of friends and high hopes. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that's your area of um, of friends and high hopes there. That's, uh, that Venus is there trying to smooth things over so as far as communication siblings and short distance travel uh, and your networks of people as far as your friends are concerned you will still be okay um, during this moon cycle starting on january the 28th okay now most likely uh they say communicate uh I say <laughs> communication coming over the web uh, can still shock you, you know, um, your areas of long distance travel, education, as well as the way you think and preach can see obstacles during this moon cycle. So you want to, uh, especially when you're communicating over the web to people at a distance from you, make sure that you are mining uh, your tongue. Make sure your skills are updated so that you can approach these people in the right way. Make sure you're practicing what you preach. Don't say something over the internet, but you're doing something completely different because, um, you know, those kinds of things can come to the surface. Okay. Now, um, just update your skills and, and mind your tongue, please, during this transit. Now, um, as far as favor goes for your area of work, health, and daily habits, look to your sector of personal finances and career, okay? Uh, just so you know, work, health, and daily habits is a faded area for you, so you'll make money at work. You could also stumble upon something that's a benefit to your health during this moon cycle. Now, as far as your opportunities during this moon cycle, as it pertains to work, health, and uh, daily habits, Let's see, you want to look to home and family as well as shared finances, um, endings and new beginnings. That's another faded area for you. So the work you're doing could have to do with a home-based business. Are you and a partner looking to grow together? Keep working on health dynamics within the home as well. Take your vitamins. Keep working on your craft, okay? This moon cycle. Now, at the end of the month, uh, Aquarius is going to go retrograde. Oh, Mercury, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mercury is going to go retrograde in Aquarius at 26 degrees. So um, even though uh, at the middle of the month, about January 15th or so, you'll start feeling these retrograde energies anyway. You'll start feeling you need to start working on the inner work and going back and working uh, on things, past projects or things you've long held. But anyway, on the 30th, um, that's when past friends will come back. It's the time to be sociable, enjoy friends and family, even on the web. But shocking or surprising communication could come from people in your networks. Old friends and contacts could return. The past could catch you off guard this transit. Even old lovers could come back. Those that think quickly on their feet and are able to work independently can see success on this day, though. Um... This is aspect in your area of secret sacrifice and solitude. You can expect friction as to these areas from communication, siblings, your networks of people, and short distance travel. So people gossiping about you or uh, somebody getting into your privacy as far as your network. So watch your passwords. Okay. Be mindful of your passwords and your uh, and things like that. Your information. Uh, communication coming in from the past, like I said, it can catch you off guard. And another area that could see friction is friends, secrets, sacrifice, even solitude. Um, um, hmm. Your area of long distance travel, even education, the way you think and the things that you preach. Okay. All of those areas um, could see obstacles. But like I said, Capricorn 
uh, Venus is in Capricorn. So that's helping out your area of friends and high hopes there. Okay. So, um, but you still might get blocked on social media from an old friend or <laughs> uh, maybe someone else, maybe an associate, not, not a real friend. Uh, communication over the web could get intense. Um, once Mercury goes retrograde, but you will have dealt with this before or this person before. Focus on the favor that awaits you this season, okay? Pisces, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to this short, uh, or not short, <laughs> this long uh, monthly update. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'm sorry I couldn't do the video scopes. Um, this month, but I have time constraints, so I'm unable to be in front of the camera. I will see you next month and have a wonderful month of January. Bye-bye.